Hello and welcome to another Twisted League video. Let's uh, open this hard clue and get something good. Oh, that is two rune plate bodies and a Guthix one. So I can alk the normal rune plate body and have some nice fashion scape. Probably just going to get some free points from 60 wood cutting and 60 fletching. So I'm really close in both of the skills and I really want to get that clue scroll relic. Okay, first level incoming, 60 wood cutting for 50 nice points. Let's see if I can actually cut a maple tree. Even with a rune axe, this is fairly slow, which uh, is quite unfortunate, but 500 experience for one cut is really insane. Just went and picked some flax because I made maple longbow, so I will get some crafting experience as well as with the fletching. So I get 40 crafting, 60 fletching. So I got 40 crafting and here comes 60 fletching for 50 more points or 60 you could say now that I have 40 crafting as well. I actually had some herb lore supplies as well. I am 23 herb lore right now and let's see the experience. 313 each one. Look at this herb lore experience. It is so good to see these XP drops. And uh, my road to 40 herb lore is probably not going to take that long after all. Now that these plows are not as crowded, I did a 5% Hosidious favor, so now I just need to make fertilizer all the way to 45. Okay, that is the 45% done, and I'm going to do mess hall for the 100% for a task, and also the cooking level 60 for more points. Before that though, I'm going to use my unsold heads that I had in my bank, so let's see this experience drop. 43 prayer, and I now have my protection from melee. Another easy one, of course, is 60 fishing for even more points. I have 48 now, so I'm going to do barbarian fishing and also get the agility levels for even more points. Of course, 60 fishing was very fast. And here we go, 60 fishing for 50 points. And then also I got my agility level to, I believe, like 30 or something. Just wanted to finish off my task and I instantly get a hard clue. So let's hope that I can actually get my magic shortbow now already. Okay, so let's see if we can get an MSB from this one hard clue scroll. Let's open it and... Okay, come on, magic longbow. I mean, I'm going to use it because that means I can actually use my broad arrows, which is still okay. So uh, just letting you guys know, if you're not lucky enough to get a magic shortbow, then uh, the magic longbow is okay. I mean, it is definitely quite a lot worse than the magic shortbow, but um, it could possibly be better than a maple shortbow at least. I am not completely sure, but at least you can use broad arrows, as I said, with it. I'm going to make an attempt to get a rune scimitar because it is going to be very essential for my melee training. So here we go, first fire giant task. First task done, no rune scimitar but a hell of a lot of experience. So I'm not going to complain too much and some more points as well for the fire giant task completed. So this is pretty huge actually, I'm going to get quite a lot of points for this. 100 points for 80 ranged. I think I'm currently like top 35 ranged as well which is pretty nice. Okay, I've killed like 200 fire giants now and still no rune scimitar and I'm 83 ranged. So I'm going to actually stop with this grind right now and do something else. Got four brimstone keys. So let's see what the loot is going to be. Hopefully some cash. First one is cash, 92k. Snapdragon seeds, that is really good for farming. Uncut diamonds, that's okay, I guess. And even more coins. So that 257k. I'm going to buy some more broad arrows with that because uh, yeah, that's all I really currently need money for. 100% favor completed in Hosidius, and I think I have some more points to claim than just that, so let's claim them. 60 points, nice. Alright, so this is going to be 60 cooking, and uh, it will give me another 50 points. Nice milestone to get there. Let's uh, click the tasks. And I only need 120 points left now, that is really close. Actually, just entering the woodcutting guild gave me 50 points. I didn't even think about that. Now that I'm here, I'm going to get 40 construction with a sawmill, which really should not be that expensive actually. I have quite a lot of money currently. Here we go, easy 40 construction. I don't think 99 construction will be hard at all. It will just take money and that you will get from clue scroll, so it should be fine. So here finally comes the unlocking of the treasure seeker relic. I just hit 60 strength with this awful rune longsword that I have because I didn't get a rune scimitar from fire giants. Here we go. It is unlocked, so let's put the relic in and now I can actually start farming hard clues for that MSB which is going to be pretty damn nice. I mean it's not efficient, but killing these Cyclops is really really fast for clue scrolls because they have so low HP. So that's what I'm going to do until the MSB. Okay, first hard clue, let's see what this is going to give us. Uh, and, oh come on, another magic longbow, I actually got baited, the Alks is pretty good though. In the same spot, I actually have two more hard clues, so one of these, come on, at least one of them has to give me an MSB, come on. 
Oh, I must be on the first one and an ancient coif. I mean, I already have the bandos coif, so it's pretty much the same thing. But hey, we have the MSB, so that is really nice. And the second one is some decent alkybol, so I'm not going to complain about that one. By the way, if you don't have the farming level, you can just go and pick up these snape grass if you want to make prayer potions. They are located right here on the map, so very fast. Okay, so I'm about to dig up my number 20 hard clue, and I've been doing blood welds by the way, they are really really good slayer experience and combat experience, and they give a good amount of hard clues of course, as they are a 1 in 10 drop rate, so Let's dig up the last clue, I now have 20, so let's get them all open, and my wish list for the items really only are two items that I really really want, which are the van braces and the boots, the god uh, ones, you know, like gothics and so on. This looks so good in the inventory, so let's get opening, I will have to bank a few times probably, uh, the game, game chat open, first one, not too good, but actually, never mind, it's really good, law runes are so useful, I wish I had more law- Oh, ancient, ancient chaps! That is so good. Okay, I'll equip them already now. I, if I get the body now, I have the full set. That's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, law runes are so... Master, nice. So good for doing clue scrolls because you can actually teleport all over the place uh, and do them really, really quick. And I get another task done for... Wait, how many was that? Oh, 60. So 50 for the hard one. Pretty nice. Oh, the god boots! That is literally perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So let's uh, upgrade these boots all the way to these. Oh, I forget the van braces now, that's going to be so good. Okay, I'm going to bang all this and take out the caskets again. Oh, that is so good so far. Samurai plate skirt, that is okay, I guess. No, don't really need it that much. Um, Dragonstone jewelry scroll, scroll. Uh, don't think that's too useful, not sure. Oh, a blessing! Uh, I can't use that though with ranged, so it's not really that useful. Another master, uh, I will have quite a lot of masters to do after this, actually. Uh, okay, that one was not too good. Let's take out the hearts again, but the alkyballs from this is so, so, so useful. Berserker necklace ornament kit. I actually think that is... Wait, that's actually obtainable. You can get a berserker necklace. It's not worth a lot though, 140k, but yeah, that's pretty cool to get that item. <laughs> Might be the first one to get it, who knows. Um, yeah, that's some alkyballs. Five left, even more alkyballs. Even more alkyballs. Rune cane? Uh, can I equip that even? Let's see if I, I take all these caskets out. Can I equip this rune cane? Okay, I can actually. That looks pretty cool. Is it actually good for anything? Melee strength 36. I will have to compare that to uh, like a rune battle axe later, but I'm pretty sure the rune battle axe is better. Okay, last three. Let's get these open. Fire lighters, so much alkyballs. And the last one. Lumbiar teleports that I can't use, but... That is really good. These boots pretty much made it. And the legs as well. So I have some really good prayer bonuses as well. All I want now is the van braces. This is going to be huge. When I cast my high alk on this item, I will get my first 1 million cash stack. Oof. I have a lot of money to use on arrows and runes now, I tell you. And also a lot of law runes from that to teleport around in uh, Zaya, which is going to be so, so useful. Okay, but that is going to do it for this video. I'm going to finish my blood veil task and then I might actually do some thieving to get to 64 and then do the stone chest so I can actually get maybe some lizard fangs so I can charge my Serex talisman. But that is going to do it anyways for this video and uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it and I made some great progress in this video. Unlocking the clue scroll relic was huge for my bank and for my account in general. And if you did like the video, please leave a like and if you want to see more of my content, and please subscribe so you know when I post my videos. Until next time, see ya!